Recently, new details emerge on Russia's secret laser weapon system. The system, highlighted in the latest issue of Army Digest, is designed to protect strategically important areas and assets, including missile divisions, from enemy optical electronic reconnaissance satellites. Peresvet operates autonomously to neutralize enemy reconnaissance satellites by emitting powerful laser beams. The laser system is capable of affecting satellites at altitudes ranging from 200 to 1,100 kilometers, with a coverage diameter of 130 to 180 kilometers. It offers 360-degree azimuth coverage and can engage targets within a 21 to 155-degree elevation angle. The primary mission of Peresvet is to obscure the maneuvering of mobile ground missile complexes, creating uncertainty about their true positions and disrupting enemy reconnaissance efforts. This technology enhances Russia's strategic defense capabilities by ensuring the concealment and protection of critical military movements and installations. Earlier, Western military commanders and defense analysts are scrambling to confirm or refute claims by a top Kremlin official that Russia has developed and deployed advanced laser weaponry in Ukraine. The news came as Reuters confirmed of how Yuri Borisov, the deputy prime minister in charge of military development boasted in a news conference that it was using a new generation of powerful lasers in Ukraine to burn up drones deploying some of Moscow's secret weapons to counter a flood of Western arms. Borisov specifically cited a test where, which he said had burned up a drone five kilometers away within five seconds. He also supported Putin's 2018 claim that the Russians had developed a laser weapon called Peresvet which could blind satellites up to 1,500 kilometers above Earth. If Peresvet blinds, then the new generation of laser weapons lead to the physical destruction of the target. Thermal destruction, they burn up, Borisov is understood to have told Russian state television. Then, when asked if such weapons were being used in Ukraine, Borisov replied, yes. The first prototypes are already being used there. He then named the new weapon Zadira. Earlier, an unnamed informed source told Russian news agency RIA Novosti that Russia conducted successful field tests of a laser gun, destroying several drones of various types. While information and technical characteristics of Russia's laser weapons are shrouded in secrecy, it is known the Peresvet is a strategic laser platform designed to disable enemy spacecraft at altitudes up to 1,500 kilometers. Still, a laser with enough power to blind satellites should also be capable of hitting atmospheric aircraft, as per international military observers. Officials believe it can also burn out the equipment of reconnaissance aircraft and drones, and with some modifications, even physically destroy them at close range. Experts have additionally indicated the Peresvet is used to camouflage the launch positions of the RS-24 Yars intercontinental ballistic missiles. Objectively, only one laser complex, Peresvet, is in service and is on combat duty, Yuri Nutov, military historian and publicist, director of the Museum of Air Defense Forces, told Sputnik. This is a fairly large laser. Its characteristics are not disclosed. One can only assume, based on its size, that this laser is capable of blinding satellites and affecting unmanned aerial vehicles and cruise missiles. And even, perhaps, for airplanes and helicopters. In any case, this laser complex is part of the mobile ground complexes that are part of the strategic missile forces. These are the YARS complexes.
In December 2020, Colonel General Sergei Karakayan, the commander of the Strategic Missile Forces, told the Russian press that Peresvet had already been tested to cover mobile ground systems on their combat patrol routes. The laser weapon doesn't allow reconnaissance satellites to determine the exact coordinates of Russia's mobile ballistic missile systems on combat duty. While the Peresvet blinds the enemy's systems, the Zadira burns them down. The weapon can hit an unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, at a distance of up to 5 kilometers. During testing, a drone flying 5 kilometers away was struck by the Zadira and burned out within 5 seconds. Russia's Zadira complex is already in use, Nutov said. It is capable of operating on unmanned aerial vehicles. Such complexes are installed, as a rule, on the platform of an armored car, thus they have a certain protection from enemy shrapnel and bullets. At the same time, they are practically silent. The laser beam is invisible, it is only in science fiction films that a laser beam is shown piercing the sky. In reality, the laser beam is invisible, its speed is equal to the speed of light, so the target is practically hit, consider it instantly. The cost of such a laser beam pulse is extremely low compared to anti-aircraft missiles. The Zadira is intended specifically for the zone of a special military operation to combat drones, primarily aircraft type, and partly quadcopters. And in order to destroy such a drone, of course, you need a certain guidance system. Therefore, there is an optical electronic station. It detects the drone, takes it for automatic tracking, then the laser turns on directly and literally burns through the body of the drone. If the laser beam hits the video camera, the matrix is burned out in literally one or two seconds. The Zadira could help combat enemy drones and not waste expensive missiles of Russia short to medium range air defense systems. Even though laser weapons are a technologically complex product, the cost of their shot is significantly lower than that from an anti-aircraft missile system, SAM. Moreover, the laser beam reaches the target almost instantly and cannot be intercepted.